video lecture of resume passing by Spacey NER. Generally, when we talk about NERs, we especially talk about Spacey. The first question that you might think it is, what is NER? NER is nothing but natural entity recognition. And there are various packages and libraries out there in Python with which you can do NER. Today's topic of the day is resume passing. You must have realized that in today's world, everybody creates their resumes or curriculum vitae differently. So as a result of this, what happens is everybody has a different way of showing what is their designation, where are they located at, what is their email address, so on and so forth. As a result of this, what happens is there is no fixed format of any kind of resume. Someone might have a name at the top and a location just below it, whereas someone ju just might have a name at the top and location at the bottom of a resume. As a result of this, it becomes very hard for the recruiters to pass all the resumes at one go. Evidently, it becomes harder for them to extract key components as there is no fixed format. So today's problem statement talks to us about how we can build a resume parser which can go through a resume and extract some of the key entities that are required for knowing what the resume is all about. So here what we have is a site which is nk.com which is very very similar to that of an indeed.com website. Generally why are we trying to solve this problem through a machine learning solution is a question that everybody might be thinking of. Let's take a very simple example. right? So let's say that in a day on nk.com we get uploaded about 500 resumes. So somebody will upload 500 resumes to a particular site. Now these 500 resumes will be of different format and of different kinds. They might not be all of software engineer or data scientist or software developers. They might be of a solution architect, a director or even a VP of engineering. So how do you sort through all of these resumes, parse the data and give the right candidate the right job opportunity? It becomes very hard. It becomes more hard when the persons or when, when the person who is parsing these resumes has a limited amount of time. Plus, even if you have a team of two people or even let's say five folks, right, each one has to sift through 100 resumes in a day. Now, if I multiply this number by, at, at, by 10, then this becomes 1000 resumes per person. Right? 1000 resumes per person is a very hard thing to do in a day. Then you might get some complications like somebody might have missed one resume, somebody might have missed one skill, somebody might have incorrectly identified the location, so on and so forth. As a result of this, what nk.com wants is for us to have a machine learning solution built which can go through all of these 5000 or 500 whatever the number you want number of resumes coherently and find out some entities out of it when we talk about entities they especially become the name of the person their designation their location so on and so forth. So in short, what is our goal here? Our goal is to use some kind of data which nk.com is providing, go through all the resumes, extract some of the entities from it, with the help of which we can find out what that resume or the person who has built that resume is all about. I hope you like this video. In the next lecture, we will talk about how are these entities formed, how are these entities selected and from where are we getting this data. Thank you.